Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Monster Rancher. I'm also only on two hours of sleep after working a full shift yesterday, so this streaming session might be a little loopier than normal. In the last episode, Rudy had yet another incredibly stupid adventure, so we're going to have to deal with him. The biggest issue I have right now is defense. His last few matches have not been well, although skill isn't very good either. So I'm going to try to get defense up to 200, skill up to 300, and then go from there. Although we'll probably have to enter some tournaments at some point, because good god do we have no money left. But if I can... He's in the A class? Good god, Rudy. Completely forgot about that. I also have a plan for him, so even though... I, we don't know how much longer he's... G I don't recall him making that face before when he... Well, whatever. So, I do have a plan. Um, I have been reading your comments. First of all, thank you for all the comments. And I wanted to mention something about the YouTube comment system because they just added a new feature. And don't worry, I'm not... You all should know me by now. I'm not a YouTuber who just shits on the company as... Yeah, I'm out of one minute. I can say shit's on the company. I don't shit on the company, or any other company, un uh, unnecessarily. And this isn't one of those times. Usually when YouTubers talk about YouTube, then uh, they do so in a negative light. Which is not to say their criticisms are not warranted, but uh, usually people don't just... They're not like me, who just kind of takes everything in stride. So I just want to make a quick mention about the comments. Um, YouTube is apparently testing a feature called Smart Comments, or Smart Replies. I don't know how it looks for you, because, oddly enough, I don't comment on many videos. But, uh, when I see your comments, I try to respond to everything I can. And someone commented something, just, you know, a nice comment, and uh, not anything noteworthy, but when I went to reply, the uh, the main comment was something like, great job, great video, whatever, and YouTube wanted me to use a boilerplate response, and it was like, they're, they're introducing this new system called Smart Comments, where you just click a button, and bam, the creator says, great, thanks, and like, nothing else. And I get it, it's a way to kind of help creators who have millions of subscribers actually reply to more than two per video. But, I want to assure you all, I'm never going to use those. Because smart comments and boilerplate messages and uh, copy that are, uh, you know, form letters, that kind of thing. I hate them, they're very impersonal. I really hate them. I just said I hate them, but I hate them that much that I said it twice. So, the way I use comments around here is if I heart your comment, that means I read it. So, if if you ever check a comment or a video or an old video or whatever and you see that little heart that I put up there, it's because I read it. Even if I don't have a chance to respond or there's no response that's really warranted, you know, it, it means I've read it. And I do that because... You know, it's around this channel, I try to involve you all as much as possible, and I never forget that without you all, I don't really have a career. So, I want to make sure that I interact with you as much as possible, because that's the only way we can interact, right? See, YouTubers have all the power. We have the microphones, we have the videos, we have the editing. The only thing you guys have, unless, you know, we're streaming, is your comment section. So that's why I respect the hell out of all your comments, even the critical ones. Ooh, that's useful. So to that end, I'm, you know, that's why I never do boilerplates. I would rather just heart a comment with no reply than put some boilerplate non, oh, fuck off, Karn. Then put some boilerplate nonsense where you don't know whether it was me or some dumb AI that formed those words, you know? Even if what I say sounds like lines. If I heart that comment in reply, you can be rest assured I did the typing. So we're going to send Rudy to the defensive course because he's close to 200. And I think, yes, he still can learn a move from there, so hopefully he gets... Oh, God. 
Every time, man. Every time I forget just how weird you are, Rudy. Your ridiculousness. Someone said that he was from an older game or something. Which is it? Oh, God. If I had seen that dance prior to making the thumbnails, I probably would have used that as the thumbnail. Anyway. Oh, so... Of the comments I saw, our friend and fan of the channel, Ledge, mentioned that, uh... There hasn't been a lot of variety of the monsters because of the way I raise them, you know. Um, he wasn't really critical, but like... You know, he's just making an observation. He's right. So, my plan with Rudy is we're going to take him until he gets too tired to go on. You know, we'll retire him at that point. We're going to raise a Generation 1 Golem. We're going to combine the Golem with Rudy. And then we're going to combine their baby with Darth Naga. And I think that's going to get us all the way. So, or at least I'm hoping so. So, if we get a Golem and actually make him a tank... Since I rarely make tanks in Monster Rancher, that'll give us a little variety, and uh, hopefully that defensive boost will help out Darth Naga's offspring. So, right now, I need to see... Oh, I missed a battle. The next one's the official? Ooh, well, we should give it a try. I mean, as I keep reminding myself, what's the worst that can happen if we give it a try and fail, right? Worst that happens is we just come back here with egg on our face, or whatever Rudy has. Um, hi. To Rudy. Oh, God. How are you? I've never been a fan of fighters before, but I just had to write to you. I saw your last match with my husband, and I was satisfied to realize... Oh, I was surprised to realize what an art form fighting can be. We have tickets to your next match, too. There's... There's an art form to pulling a chicken out of your ass, which is the same place you keep a life-size stiletto. All right, cool. I mean, I suppose stapling a couple wheels to a chicken's feet is considered art in some places the weird places. Anyway, I need to check his moves too. Kalo had mentioned in a comment that I didn't check his moves or something, so I will do that right quick once I get back to the loading screen, or the range screen. Oh man, I'm so tired. I wasn't sure I'd be able to bust this recording session out, but... Alright, there's the chicken. There's large rattle, small rattle, stiletto. Oh, okay, we've got all our moves accounted for. We've got whip, headbutt, Stomp and Slam Stomp. I actually prefer Stomp. It seems to... It seems to hit a little bit more often than Slam Stomp or Headbutt, even though they're all D% percent chance of hitting, but whatever. All right, so... Did I say Rudy was tired? I don't know. If I work him now, then I'm going to wind up resting him twice, so let's just rest you once. And then we'll do, uh double work, and then we'll rest you again. I don't have a lot of faith this is going to go well, because Rudy's not quite dominant yet. What? No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Thank you, Holly. No, you're fine, douche. I forget your name, but thank you, Holly. Holly, showing her worthiness as an assistant. I, I'm. You can't see it, because I don't use face cam, but I'm making the, the hand-heart gesture over my chest, so... Yeah. All right. Can I get sc intelligence? No, screw that. Power and life at the cost of speed. Yeah, sure. I don't think we've seen him build yet. He probably just drags the... Oh, yeah, we've seen that one. I'm, I'm to the point where I'm used to the chicken motorcycle. That's, that's disturbing. I don't want to be used to the chicken motorcycle. Who wants to be used to the chicken motorcycle? Today's Rudy's fourth birthday. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, you're the stuff of nightmares. He wishes me the best of luck. He needs the luck, man. He's not doing very well in these tournaments. I say that, but I... What is his record? I'm going to pull that up. I haven't been keeping track of everyone's records, so I hope you all have been if you've been interested since I've been going out of my way to see those numbers prior to 
the uh, retirement. Yeah, 27 and 11. That's not great. But he's also, I mean, he's four years old, and we haven't gotten the notice about his retirement yet, so he's still moving, which is good. All right, well, we got this, Holly. We're going to try. I edited around that because I still have that cough that's lingering since January. I'm sick of it. Sick of the flu. Ready for the flu to get out of my body. All right, Amy the Pixie. So, I also, speaking of comments, apparently that's what I mainly do now. One of my uh, comments was someone uh, saying that they would love to see an all pixie farm. I don't think I'll do it in this one, but I might stream some Monster Rancher 4 one of these days and try an all pixie farm just for funsies. Oh, that's not good. It's like a lot of the other enemies that we face if we can get our attack to slip through we'll be fine but the problem will be getting an attack to slip through i probably only need to land one she has really high power too she's a power pixie and she has no intelligence attacks holy crap well that's weird all right hang tight Ru yeah that's nothing oh because she actually used an intelligence type attack all right Hang tight, Rudy. Get up to 99 wool before you even try anything. All we have to do is get one move to land, and we'll be all right. Even a whip, I think, will do a ton of damage. We just got to land one. For as much damage as she's doing, it's taking a lot of shots to get her there. I don't want to have to spam, but we will eventually have to spam to try to land an attack. Ugh. All right, I think we're up to that point now. Yeah, the clock's gonna keep ticking. This is this is where it is, man. Like, I can't. Rudy cannot deal with high-speed monsters. All of his attacks are so inaccurate that we just can't do anything about it. That's why I love having untouchable monsters. Like, you're seeing the kind of monsters I love raising. My last pixie in Monster Ranger 4 was like that. She always hit, and she could never be hit. If an attack slipped through, she was screwed, but usually attacks didn't slip through. And I just played the odds. And it, it helped that my last pixie back then had some solid power behind her, but being accurate helped more than anything. So we just, we can't, we can't hit these untouchable monsters. I've got to start the attack procedure faster. All right, so Argu doesn't have the same speed advantage, but he does have a massive accuracy advantage. So we're going to be taking shots. Hopefully he doesn't hit too hard. It's the only thing we can hope for. Well, that's not off to a good start. Rudy's definitely weird. I wonder if anyone's gotten to the point where they were able to use a doodle with great success. Because theoretically, you can beat the game with any monster, I would imagine. You just have to know how to do it. Maybe Rudy does have a high accuracy move somewhere that we just don't know about that he hasn't learned yet. Yeah, see, that did solid damage. All we have to do is land a few of those. Let's start the spam process when we're up about 12 seconds instead of 10. All right, spam, 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 spam. Spam, 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 spam. Spam, 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 spam. Spam, 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 spam. All we need is those to slip through. Do it, Rudy! Listen to my orders, damn it! Oh, man. Yeah, Rudy... If Rudy gets us to the S-Class, I'm gonna be embarrassed. But, hey. As long as anyone gets there, I don't really care who. Okay, so this is more to our speed, since we hit hard. Even though we hit inaccurately, golems are easy to hit. So, hopefully, we get some success now. Oh, I'm drinking coffee. 
I'm in a weird spot because I was I had insomnia last night, so I was up until eight o'clock in the morning, and yet I work tomorrow, so I'm really tired. And I was like, I should probably not drink caffeine. That way, I know I can get to sleep tonight. But I need a little caffeine to get me through the recording session. So, oof. What I'm probably gonna wind up doing is I'm just gonna burn out my energy right now. Like, I'm just gonna put everything I've got into doing the show, and then as soon as I wrap that seventh episode, I'm probably gonna pass the hell out. Uh, that's probably not true. I'll probably play the show, and then I'll pass the hell out. So, I'm just really tired. And it's, it's, uh, it's nothing that, um, you know, it, I mean, it just is what it is. It's going to happen. That's what happens when you're trying to hold down two jobs. Counting YouTube is one of them. Because, thanks to you all, the channel has done extremely well in the past couple months. I don't know how many of you look at the financial reports that we do on YouTube every- or on Facebook every month, but... We have had a lot more subscribers in the past few months, and it's not just Monster Rancher. I mean, I know Monster Rancher is the series that draws the most eyes, but you guys must be sharing the video or um, getting your friends to watch it or something. I don't know what's going on, but we haven't hit that 5,000 subscriber threshold yet, but we had more subs- <laughs> Always intimidated by the life bars of plants. Um, but we always- uh, 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 so something has definitely changed because our rate of growth has grown, and we haven't seen that in a long, long time, so I appreciate it a lot, because it gives me focus and reminds me why I do this. I've always wanted the channel to be self-sufficient. Um, I, I've had people challenge me about how, you know, they say I'm already a success. When I, when I, when I've said I, I don't feel like I'm a success on YouTube yet, um, I've had people say, you know, but you have this many subscribers. And for me, it's not the number. Um, I know I bring up the numbers a lot, but it's not the number. It's that I want to be self-sufficient so I can do the channel full-time without worry. Because I've done the channel full-time the past couple years, um, but we're always at a knife-edge budget. So that's why I went back to the tax place so I could get a little extra money to make sure that I could keep doing the channel while also, you know, buying groceries and keeping the lights on. So, um, you know, I want to get to the point where the channel sustains itself, at least until YouTube explodes. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's my goal. And I don't care what number it is. It doesn't have to be Markiplier 25 million. It doesn't even have to be a million. I just want enough that I can, you know, pay the bills. <laughs> That's that's it. I just want to pay the bills, man. The, the rest of the numbers don't matter to me. I just want to pay the bills. But we've had so many people coming in lately that, you know, I'm floored. I really appreciate that you appreciate what I do. And, I mean, obviously, for watching episode 39 or 8 or whatever this is deep in the series, then you must appreciate what I do. And I appreciate the appreciation. Rudy's doing okay all of a sudden. Stomp is definitely our go-to. Yeah. The worm is in the same boat as the, um, plant was. Is he part plant? She? Lana? It looks like she's part Swayzo. But whatever. High life, but nothing else. See, even if... Yeah, ooh, that was a solid shot. I didn't realize worms hit that hard. And I got lucky on a foolery. I'll take it. Man, I should get a worm. I don't think I've raised any worms in any of the Monster Rangers we've done yet. Holy crap, we're less than a minute out from the end of the episode already? Really? Uh, Amy has one loss as well. Oh, God. But Rusi is high speed, tough to hit. Oh, come on, man. Uh, well, it is what it is. Funnily enough, even though I prefer monsters who are who always hit and can never be hit, in this Monster Rancher 1 run, we've pretty much just had power-heavy monsters, for better or worse. Even, uh, 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, 14% chance on the best attack we've got. And he's got high 80s, which is practically a guarantee in Monster Rancher frickin' 1. We can't do this, man. We cannot... We cannot... About all I can do is just use Stomp and hope for the best. Because if it slips through, then we'll be fine. That was not the move I meant to use, but okay. Yeah, I, I reacted to Rudy the same way, Rusi. I, I don't blame you one bit there, buddy. Ah, land one of those. It's such a low chance to hit. It's only 7%. Like, I don't know what else to do. The whip isn't even 20. So it's like... But if any of these land... Okay, so Rattle is at least doing some damage. I mean, some accuracy, but... Oh, man. I don't know what more we can do other than to keep training accuracy. Because that's the hole that we're in. If I can never hit the enemy, then the rest of this doesn't even matter. His defense and his life... And even his power are clearly up to snuff, but not his accuracy. We're going to have to figure out something. But that's going to have to do it for today. Tomorrow will be the, the exciting conclusion of this battle. Well, Lana has two losses. Terrence has two losses. Amy has two losses. Holy shit, we might actually pull this off. We'll have to get lucky, though. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.